So I'm here with Austin and Alyssa, yeah. and you guys are studying. Well, tell me, what are, you, what are you doing here in Thailand? Well, Jason, right now we're in Thailand studying sustainability at an international level. Very nice. Trying to figure out how uh, Thailand grows their agriculture, grows their food via agriculture. Very cool. Yeah. Um, starting tomorrow, we're actually going to be going to a bunch of different villages in northern Thailand and learning how, like, how they do sustainable agriculture and organic agriculture. And that is very interesting. I think that's really cool. Um, I want to ask you guys first off about: Are you aware of like the burning season that yes. happens here? Yeah. So, in May. Uh, yeah, or a little before that. I think it's uh, more March. March. Isn't it? yeah. yeah. I get yeah. those two months mixed up. Yeah, March. Honest. Um, and I was doing a bit of my own just research on the internet. Nothing super in depth. But there's there's people who have done a documentary, uh, you know, trying to figure out the cause of it, the main cause of it. And something that they said is that in the past ten years, um, and you guys can let me know if you've heard anything about this or yeah. not. But in the past ten years. They've been growing more maize, more corn, corn for yeah. to, to feed livestock. Yeah. So are you guys aware of that being like a cause of the burning season or anything? Like, Yeah. Yes. Um, so actually, last Friday we visited um, CP, a CP feed mill okay. here, which is like one of the largest exporters of feed grain and then also um, livestock production. Yeah, livestock production right. in Thailand and like world, like internationally it's one of the biggest producers. Um, and so they've been implicated a little bit in the burning because they source most of their corn, 50% of their corn comes from that, I think. Um, and so usually farmers will burn like the biomass that's left over at the end of harvest, right? Yeah, they'll burn the stalks. Right? That's what I'm aware of. Yeah. Right. And it's causing a lot of air pollution. There's a uh, that's one of the bigger environmental issues in the Chiang Mai area and yeah. Southeast Asia. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So I know ri burning rice fields is also a part of that. Is that correct? Or I haven't heard that one as much. Yeah. No. Yeah. So would, would you say that is like the main, one of the main causes, if not the main one then? Would be uh, corn yeah. agriculture. Corn agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. I so. yeah. say that it's primarily uh, corn that is being burned. And, and and most of that corn is going to feed animals, animals, yeah. livestock. Are actually probably a hundred percent, ninety-eight percent. Wow. Unless you're doing sweet corn, but that's more of a mountain crop. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's super interesting. So with that said, then logically, if people eat less animals, then we have to grow less of this corn. Is that? Can, that, can I say that? Or you could. I mean, there's there's a lot to. Um, raising livestock yeah. and if you're raising livestock in a more sustainable manner which a lot of people are and you're not necessarily feeding them corn and you're letting them graze on grass like it's not quite as bad but it's harder to do um, like mass raising of livestock like you see in industrial agriculture right now right yeah H have you guys seen the documentary Cowspiracy? yes you've seen that I played it for my school twice Right, on. Environment, environmental. Club. Very cool. Yeah. So, so how, how did that, did that have, I mean, it obviously had an impact on you if you paid, played it for your school. Yeah, it did. So it then, changed my uh, eating habits. So, yeah. what are your current eating habits then? I avoid uh, meat or cow meat yeah. in specific. If yeah. I'm going to try to get a more complex protein, I'm going to do chicken or turkey. And right. Those are a lot more efficient and right. use less water. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, I'm not completely vegetarian, but. It would be yeah. ideal, but um, I've right. got uh, sports and kind of, I don't know, the convenience too. Yeah. yeah. Having just meat there. Well, do you guys know that there's this vegetarian festival going on now in Thailand? I'd heard like very, very little about it. Yeah. Like I knew there was something sort of happening soon. <laughs> That's about the extent of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, right now, like if you wanted to be vegan, it's, I mean, it's easy to be vegan in Thailand, but especially right, right now, Basically anywhere with these big, you know, well, these these red flags or sorry, yellow flags with red font on them is the like vegan the, yeah, the vegan okay. vegan and a lot of the places are selling stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean, that's that's so cool that you guys are studying uh, agriculture over here over here. That's great. I think that that's a big reason. Like I, I've been vegan for six years, and only in the past couple of years have I learned like actually how 
you know, how big of an impact it has on the environment, you know. And, uh, but I think the, the reasons that made me go initially were more ethical and like for health actually, because I do a lot of sport as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that, I mean, is there, is there anything else that you guys want to say about agriculture in Thailand? Oh, I'd like to ask you guys about pesticide use, because a lot of people ask about that, like what pesticides are, like what are the regulations on that, and like what's the deal with that in Thailand? A lot of people say like, is it safe or? Um, okay, so we've been learning a little bit about how people like define organic food here, yeah. and there's not a lot of labeling that's really accurate. So like in the US, you have the USDA certification for organic, which in and of itself can be right. iffy. Yeah. Here you can mostly just like print organic on things, yeah. and you don't really have to have like a certification process. But that doesn't mean that there aren't farmers who are doing a lot of really interesting things yeah. right. with organic agriculture. So. Right. With what I'd say on pesticide use is it's, it, it's, it's kind of an addiction the way you farm you can't if you start using it putting down uh, pesticide use or pesticides one year uh, next year your bugs are going to become more resistant right and you're going to need to put more on yeah uh, health wise it, it's a lingering chemical and it's getting in the water sources yeah and I, I'm not any kind of scientist testing what how much correlation there is to breast breast cancer or things like that but right it, it can't be good it can't be good can't right be good. that's the, yeah and these chemicals a lot of them stem from chemicals of war that were used in world war one world war two that's where they were invented first right so right. It's, that's kind of like concerning that definitely. we're throwing that all over our fields definitely and um, I, I've heard people say, and I can't, I can't say this for sure, but I've heard people say that because, um, you know, because like if you're eating meat, for example, that 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 animal was eating, you know, uh, chemically, you know, let's like the food its whole life, right? Yeah. That's had chemicals in it, and then it's basically then concentrated in the it's meat. Bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation. So that is a thing that you guys are aware of. That's like yeah. a. I mean, thing. we see it in seafood too, with like mercury and tuna. Yeah. Um, like, there's a lot of bioaccumulation that happens if organisms at, at a lower trophic level are eating food or water, or something that's been contaminated. That the thing that eats them gets all of those right. contaminants, and the thing that eats them gets all of those contaminants. Yeah. yeah. And so it's definitely, yeah, like biomagnet biomagnification right. and uh, bioaccumulation. Yeah. Because yeah. I've had people say, "Oh, well, you eat vegetables." And those have pesticides on them, and that's sort of my response to that: is that well, you're eating animals that have been eating, you know, stuff with chemicals their whole life, and it's bioaccumulated. So, all right, cool. Well, guys, I don't know how much uh, my camera ran out of memory oh, yesterday okay. when I was interviewing people, so I'd like to wrap this up. I could probably talk to you guys for hours. Yeah, this sounds like great, Jason. Yeah, that's awesome. So great to meet you guys. Uh, are you guys on YouTube or anything? You guys have any channels? No, I don't have a channel, but I. I'll subscribe. Should I should I send anybody your way or no? Know where to send? No. All right. Send. We guys should get on YouTube. Thanks a lot, you guys. Yeah. Thanks you. Definitely.